Assessment is the engine which drives student learning and assures what we have taught has been learnt. Nothing we do for students is more important than our assessment of their work and the feedback we give to them. I mean, after all, the results of our assessment influence students for the rest of their lives. In 2014, I taught this subject for the first time. And while I was teaching 103, I was also teaching a third year subject. And I could see the, the contrast between the first year students who were very inquisitive and asking a lot of questions and the third year students who were totally disengaged and, and focusing completely on, on marks. So I realized something was uh, something needed to change, and, and this led to changing the subject for 2015. So the initial thought was um, that change has to happen, uh, but um, perhaps it's too much, and therefore I had the idea of tweaking the subject and, and changing little bits through time. But after consulting with sort of colleagues, uh, came to the conclusion that change must be sort of serious and a lot of things have to change. So we, we started thinking about it holistically and, and actually started thinking about the third year students and what we want them to, to be and, and how we want them to function. And then we were thinking, well, what do we need for our second year students to be doing to get to, the, to that level? And then ultimately what we want the first year students to be doing. Um, and, and that's how the process started essentially. So, so we, we, we wanted to know what makes a fully functioning second year student. And we, we isolated a, a certain number of skills that we want the second year student to have. And then we built uh, our first year subjects. And, and I did this in collaboration with other first year subject coordinators to come up with a set of, uh, of skills that we want to focus on. And then that, that formed the skeleton of the, of the new subject. And then we built everything around it. The first step was to, to identify the, what we think are the core skills that the first year students should have. And these are very simple to do. So first we want students to think and we want them to be able to engage with the literature. So we want critical thinking to be one, one skill. Then as geoscientists, we want them to have a set of practical skills. And again, these are very simple for the geosciences. We want basic data collection skills, field data collection skills. So that usually involves operating surveying equipment. Uh, we want students to be able to uh, search for data online and download data. Uh, we want students to be able to analyze the data using simple statistical tools. And then, as a geoscientist, present that data in the form of a map, so basic mapping skills. So these were our practical skills. So we had critical thinking, practical skills. And then we want students to be familiar with the language of the discipline, so vocabulary, and key concepts. So we built, so we had these three components, and we then designed uh, very carefully the subject learning outcomes to address directly these uh, key skills. And in the same time, we made sure that these subject learning outcomes are aligned with the course learning outcomes, which is actually really easy given that we had, we started uh, the process from top down. So we were looking at what ultimately we want our students to, to do, and those are the course learning outcomes, essentially. So the mapping between the SLOs and the CLOs was very obvious. Once we had the subject learning outcomes, we set out to design uh, assessment tasks which are addressing or are mapped to those subject learning outcomes, but in the same time are explicitly linked to the three key skill components that we identified. 